July's um, the bleh. July's uh, astrology is complicated and simple simple at the same times. It's kind of a paradox, really. Um, and what do I mean by that? Because we have had this um, triangle, or sorry, kite from uh, Black Moon Lilith to Uranus to Neptune to Pluto. And so it's pointing to direction of new Neptune, um, where, you know, what we, it, it this, um, this fantasy, this ideal, this um, spirituality, uh, something along those lines, right? We've had that all year. And it, that that's complicated, right? But then on the same time for the month of July, yeah, July, um, things change up a little bit because we will have a a second kite that will um, be here for, for most of the month and that is from Pluto to Uranus to um, the Cancer Leo uh, what you call it line border thing and to Black Moon Lilith so that has to do you know it's it's all of these this Aquarius um, thinking and transformation and then also again re uh, rebel and um, transformation change in uh, simplicity and grounded earth-based things and then also um, here with uh, you know home and safety and feeling creating feelings um, even caring um, and support and nurturing but then also here with um, uh, you know, breaking the rules and, and not doing the way things that other people say you, you're supposed to do them. So there's a lot going on this month, but again, you know, we got to just take it step by step really. And so basically what we have here is that we've got, uh, where is it? Pluto's going, has been in retrograde and it's going to stay in retrograde um, all month. And so, you know, we are still learning how to transform. Transform is messy, it's ugly, it's hard, and it takes a long time, um, but we're doing it. And then um, we also, at the end, during this weekend, we've got Saturn going into retrograde. I like this because normally Saturn wants to create limits and create limits and um, restrictions and difficulties and challenges, but with it going retrograde, I feel like it might be a little bit easier on us and giving us a little bit of a break. And then on the um, second, we've got, where is it, Mercury. Mercury will enter into Leo, so that's our thinking, our passions, our, um, uh, you know, our in interests, our hobbies, um, even romance, family, generosity, shining, um, entertaining. And then um, uh, same day, Neptune is going retrograde. So you can see all these, you know, very slow outer planets are going retrograde. Um, and that has to do with um, this, you know, really big change, right? And and really being, um, we've, we're giving time to, we're being given time to consider all of these, how we're be transforming, right? Whatever. And, um, but Neptune going retrograde, it, it might also be, might be beneficial because normally Neptune wants to be in the head in the clouds, fantasy, um, escapism, but with it being retrograde, maybe it'll help, um, you know, have some, I, um, details, putting those fantasies, those creativity down in a, on a practical way and a very, um, you know, down to earth sort of way and, and way that could also help other people as well. And then on the uh, fifth, we've got a, I don't have the moon here, but the moon will enter into uh, cancer. The moon loves being in cancer. So this is a great time to um, set new intentions around um, safety, nurturing, feelings, 
um, intuition, um, emotions, home, family, uh, comfort, um, things like that. And um, anything cancer based really, right? And then on the 11th, we've got Venus entering into Leo. Um, when Venus enters into Leo, both of these, Venus and Leo talk about love. So, you know, again, here we've got our own self-interest, passions, our, our self, we love ourself, um, uh, but we also love our family, um, the people that we care for, um, you know, and, and being generous in that nature. Um, and then what else? Oh, on the uh, 20th, We've got, where is it? Mars. Uh, there you are. Mars is going to enter into Gemini. But before it does that, it's going to hit Uranus. That's a big deal because Mars and Uranus together, we might see um, out in the world, we might see something uh, pretty big in um, social media or in the news. We might hear some big story. So look out for that. Um, but when it, on the 20th, when it enters into Gemini, then we've got a lot of communication. We've got a lot of thoughts. We've got a lot of writing, a lot of speaking, um, even stuff to do with hands or local stuff or sibling stuff. And then on the uh, 22nd, we've got the sun entering into Leo. So that's very strong because Sun loves being in Leo. Um, so again here, this is very showman, entertaining, um, even uh, royalty, um, dignity, respect even. That's very important as well. And then um, on the... Did I forget something? No, okay, I'm just checking. Uh, yeah, okay. On the, oh, sorry, on the 20, on the 21st, we have our second, in less than two months, we have our second full moon in Capricorn. That's a little unusual to have a full moon up here in Capricorn. Capricorn um, authority, big business, uh, government authority. And so there is a lot here that needs to be released and to let go of. Um, not to mention here, Pluto is trying to get into um, Capricorn or something to do with father figures. Um, and then what else? Oh, then we also have on the 25th, 25th, we have Mercury. Oh, there we go. Let me flip. Okay, there we go. We have Mercury entering into uh, Virgo. Sorry, it's backwards. That's very strong because Mercury likes to be in Virgo. So here we can, it'll help us with day-to-day -day things or, um, uh, you know, details or being practical or maybe even finding solutions. Um, something along those lines even that could help serve ourselves and others could um we could have some new ideas about health and then on the uh what is it oh on the 26th we also have chiron where is it oh there we go chiron <laughs> chiron going into retrograde i like that as well because chiron is usually difficult and then um i think that is it Oh, also, sorry, one more thing. Black Moon Lilith will go into uh, Libra and will stay there. It will go end of June, stay till March. That will um, create some changes around relationships, peace, harmony as well. All right, that's it. Thanks.